So what would can what would overcome your skepticism? Um, for let's say what the Christian deity or any deity. Um, the deity uh, somehow being verified that it can be uh, that it's real. So if okay, I, okay. If and how is that? Like, if I can, like with the Christian deity, somebody asked me years ago about this, and I suggested, well, since the deity is all powerful and all knowing, um, they could um, present and provide me with the with omniscience and omnipotence for a short period of time, so that I could experiment with these and determine for myself that that this deity is real. That would be one example. So if God, so so if God made, so if God made so you fucking God, retarded, then you would believe that God exists. Oh, I didn't ask to be made a god. I've been asked to have omnipotence. Yes, you did. Omnipotence. I'm not asking for other characteristics the god holds. Those would be sufficient for me. Okay, so you're saying that omniscience or omnipotence would not fulfill the most normal definitions of what a godlike being is? I, I just mentioned uh, the Christian god for uh, an example. The Christian god does have those characteristics, among many others, right. omnipresence and uh, omnichronological and whatnot. I, I, I understand that. So if, per your own admission, that would be a characteristic of a Christian god, right? And That's you, my understanding. And you I'm want, that and, and <laughs> that it, it would require you becoming the equal of God in terms no, of those equal. abilities. Well, I mean, if you if God is omnipotent and you're going to be omnipotent, Mm -hmm. That means in omnipotence, you're equal to God. On that particular characteristic, sure. And 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 then somebody... okay. So so my question has been answered now. Okay. So the only thing that would convince you to overcome your skepticism would be God giving you the power of God, giving me, uh, granting me omniscience and omnipotence. Uh, I'm not asking for the other powers. That, I, I don't care. You want the power of a God in order to I believe that a God that a God exists. So, and, so are, and, we, are we playing a semantic my, game now? So you're, is, so you're okay. that is not my only, and that is not my only required. That is not my only possible solution. That's the one that I can think of right now. There, okay. Okay. So then something to me that is reasonable and logical, I may may consider it. I'm not close to other possibilities. So, so you're saying that it's rational as a skeptic that the only thing that would convince you. I didn't say only. Or one of the something that would have to be on the level of. Literally gaining the power of God is what would be required for you to overcome your skepticism. Um, now, uh, I'm going to lay this out. There are a number of different characteristics that uh, the Christian God has. Omniscience and omnipotence are only two of them. All I'm asking for is provide me with those two for a short period of time. And I don't even care if some of those, if there is a limitation on those that I can't interfere with anything that God's doing. I want to just be able to experiment with this and, and verify for myself that this stuff really is real. And I'm citing that, providing that as an example of one thing that would be uh, uh, qualify as valid proof for me. Okay. I, 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 I understand. I understand what you're saying. I mean, I, I get the point of what you're saying. I'm, what I'm questioning is, do you not realize that that being a necessity from your perspective to actually overcome your skepticism means that you're fulfilling one of the recognized issues with skepticism is that it results in such extreme uh, skepticism and uh, are we making fun of me with someone else convinced of anything? Well, that you are that you acquire things that are not actually rational, which is the entire point being made in this debate is whether or not that's rational. And the point I'm making is if you're claiming that skepticism or atheism is a rational outcome of skepticism, um, but I would say that that kind of point you're making shows that that's like what's required for you to be convinced mean is irrational. Okay, well, that's my own personal standard. I'm just saying, why does God get to do something that I don't? What do you think he felt, Doctor? What did he see? Just God. God? That's all? Just God? God, I rented this beach house because I thought if you're really there, this is the best place to get in touch with you. I'm in pretty bad shape and I need some answers.